Welcome to Action Surge. Yeah. Oh, we've we've literally just gone, <laughs> yay! Oh, yay. Yeah, a moment where everyone breathed in. Oh my God. Um, so, so, yeah, so... My Lord. So what do you what did you guys think? Kicks well, I love me. that you built up. I was like, oh, we get to meet the girl. Yeah. We get to yeah. Learn. yeah. Oh, oh, well, you did meet one. Yeah. You saw one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, do, do you see if you see, if you see yeah. a dead I mean, deer by don't, the road? Don't you yeah. see yeah. I met a deer. <laughs> <laughs> I met a lovely deer. On the <laughs> <laughs> I am. I want to say I am really proud of us mm. um, with the fight. I know. You fought really, you fought really yeah. well. Actually, you really did. Um, Morgan ended up being a bit of a damage sponge, yeah. which wasn't necessarily what I intended, but mm. he was the only one they could flank. And then once they flanked him, it doesn't make any sense yeah. for them to move off no. him. They're, they're, mm. they're, they're like, I mean, they're homebrewed, these wolves. Yeah. They're mm. like a cross between, they have slightly less HP than a direwolf. They have the <laughs> AC of a regular wolf and the movement speed of a direwolf. And then the, the 1d6, they have, but they do less damage, but then they get this little necrotic 1d6. Yeah. Well, yeah. Morgan could take that damage probably a little bit better than some of yeah. us could. Yeah. So. And if it hadn't so been Morgan, it would have been me. Yeah. Yeah. As, soon as, as soon as both of those attacked you, I was like, but, oh, oh my no. lord. Yeah. Mm. I'm so glad mm. Webb worked for them, mm. because otherwise... Yeah. I'm mm. sorry about that. I just was, I think, maybe just trying to figure out how of Webb course, works. Of like, that's course, that's, that's what we're doing. And I think, you know, what, what I think we'll do, like the... And this is great, because we're kind of figuring it out together, but... I think I'll make rulings on the fly, yeah. and then if it does, and then if it didn't work, then I'll go away and look at it in between sessions. Yeah. But it was, it was. I mean, it made it more difficult for you, yeah. which was fun for me. Um, you know, it was, it, <laughs> yeah. it was like, and I like the fact that you, you've, you we're all working at trying to be experts in. You're all working at being experts in your characters. Like this mm. is the point: is that mm. within five or six sessions. Uh, I won't need to be like, and what do it'll, it'll be like? Oh, it's a dexterity saving throw, blah blah blah. Oh, actually, I'm allowed. I can do this, and I can do this. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. you know, talking about making things difficult for us, making something difficult, like making things difficult for you, was having ten NPCs. Oh my god! Yeah. But you know, yeah. what? I was I was thinking about this a lot, and it was like you don't know how long this body has been here, how long that you know, Aurum, the the dragonborn deity who who you found Carvilius cradling on the plaza. You don't know if that's if that's. A, an hour, a day, a week, a month, mm. a year. Mm. But I think I was really proud again of the way that we kind of all huddled everyone up, mm. so it made everything easy for yeah. us. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. getting, you know, getting onto great that. shout as well. Like just such a small thing, but using um, uh, what's the elf elf character Bar name? Barabbas. Okay. Barabbas. Barabbas. Yeah, Barabbas. Yeah. Using his singing yeah. as a means as a of gravitation. Yeah. yeah, as a lighthouse in yeah. the in the. In the in the clouds as a means of bringing everyone together. That moment, I was like, that is brilliant. My, heart, so my heart was pumping when <laughs> they all, because I we'd spoke, we like, you'd said about beforehand, you'd like prepped us for kind of like, you know, what, what our characters would have known going into this. Yeah. And they'd known that the reason that we are being their bodyguards is because they are not able to use their own powers. You know, it's, yeah. and, and I just thought that's such an interesting thing especially when we are so significantly weaker than they are. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You really, I mean these are, like, Gronoth has 203 HP. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's a level 20 cleric. So, like, so, you know, th they are, they are, these are the most powerful clerics in the world. But you take away divine magic, and they're just people who can hit with staffs. So does that mean, sorry, to, uh, this, I feel this is probably a silly question, but divine magic is gone. In this world, then. Well, it's we don't see it. It's, like it's, gone here. Yeah. it's yeah. almost like the cloud yeah. was like a barrier between. But if there are no gods, like what are the consequences of that? I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. Because they, they, they all tried using it. Now it, it could be thing we're seeing stuff raging up above. I'm so curious if it's. Do they need? Do they need in all of them? So if even if one <laughs> dies, does it? Does the ability to give like? Yeah, I mean, you haven't seen anything. You haven't seen anything yeah. other than the than the body of one god. Exactly. Or is it simply that them fighting means that their concentration is elsewhere and they don't have the the mm. almost the the stamina or the the pool of mm. their own capabilities to to allow it? Do you know what I mean? Do I manage to happen elsewhere? It's exciting. Well, I, I really liked like Endelian and Kalnus's little chat and stuff. Like, yeah, that was really nice. More character moments was really nice. Yeah. It was they like, haven't really talked is, yet. No, we haven't. And that's why it was like a nice balance where we had some, there was some laughter and there was some jokes. And then it was a relatively well-balanced kind of introduction mm. into what we're hoping to do. Where it's like, yeah, there's that laughing and there's the joking and there's our personalities. And then there is kind of that, you know, you come up through the cloud, right, right, into a battle. Mm. How does everyone handle that as yeah. well? I think what's really nice is that you guys, we are all learning the 
how we are at the table with each other. Mm. Yeah. And I think if you if we jumped forward 10 sessions, the dynamics at the table would be different. Mm. Um, but what's really lovely is these, like, just like we kind of, we sort of know how the other, how each other play. And these characters sort of know how they, how each other think. They've been around each other long mm-hmm. enough to like yeah. n- have a surface level understanding. Like they could all tell someone what Kelness was like, but they don't necessarily really deeply understand or know him. They mm. could all tell someone what I or you know. And mm. so that's kind of mirrored in the journey that that the mm-hmm. characters are taking through it. I like that level as well of like. I know I've joked about it before, but you have like the grown ups and the mm. kids. But it is such a nice balance to have and it, it creates such a, a kind of a lightness when if you're not careful things will go way too serious yeah. way too quickly and yeah. that you, you lose that kind of joy or yeah. the other way way too silly you know? yeah because like, yeah. Yeah, it can nice it become it can become purposeless very yeah. quickly and equally yeah. it can become really inflexible and actually not very fun yeah and the whole point of this is that it is i mean look look people have people have you know like multicolored things with with these horrible wolves yeah. you know like it is silly it is inherently in a brilliant mm. way it's play mm-hmm. and so i think the more the more fun we all have morgan climbing the tree made him going down <laughs> yeah and that's so yeah. much yeah, you have that's, 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 yeah. that's the cha- that's also the challenge that i faced um and you know there's still more of this which will be revealed certainly in the next session you'll essentially understand the gravity of of the situation that you're in um how do i i'll just talk about our room for a second for the dragonborn deity like that's it's the reason why you had that religious ceremony at the beginning it's the reason why i kept talking because if i'm going to kill a god i gotta make gods really important really quick and i've got like two and a half hours to do it yeah Mm. and and so it's super religious that to the top of that session it's so like Mm. readings from books loaded and these are the names of the deities and and it's a huge amount of information to take in but i felt like if i didn't if i didn't try to do that it's why i started the very complete intro back at sentiasa which was the Mm. original plane of existence before reliquia existed and it's like because if i don't make it about gods now Mm. It's a waste of time, mm. you know. I really wanted to be able to witness Morgan going up the tree and failing, and I was so disappointed that I wasn't able to see it because yeah. I had such a. I was like, oh, God, I have <laughs> such a great like you know, about like him chastising me for like not being a, a good leader and oh. claiming, and it's like that idea of like coming back and saying, you know, essentially like, see, I told you, mm. and and the idea of the fool being like a person who's been made to look like the fool coming back at a person who's also mm-hmm. made themselves look like a fool yeah. I thought is really nice but again it's the I didn't roll therefore I didn't see it the dice no yeah. that's the first fight I've ever done with miniatures how did mm. it feel? Yeah. Um, it felt much less stiff than I thought mm-hmm. it would feel I thought mm-hmm. it would be very um, limiting but actually it's quite comforting because there are just things I can't do yeah I actually um, think it helps really. yeah I think it yeah. does as well it's going to be really interesting to see how that because obviously that's a big a huge boon for the for like our Twitch audience and mm-hmm. our YouTube audience, mm-hmm. but to our our, our podcast audience mm-hmm. that are you know hopefully listening now, Theatre of the Mind will probably be yeah. more advantageous yeah. because because it's also Theatre of the Mind tends to go quicker. I think going forward it might be useful for us to also describe how we are on the terrain That's as well true. to yeah. help yeah. people because yeah. obviously there was right. a shorthand of I want them to go here yeah. but like I would like them to travel to this That's point. An yeah. That's point. an excellent That's point. That's a really like, good point. And we'll learn. Yeah, and it's because it, that was the first time of us doing it with minis. And it's, it's things like saying like that when I was like saying the last time that one is thinking saying I like to attack the wolf but down behind the mound, yeah. yes. like yeah. on the right. Of, so you're right. You're definitely which, right. Which, which sort of a, a more imaginative thing without minis forces you to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You yeah. have to be very, very specific That's descriptively. Very yeah. Whereas yeah. this, you just have to be very sp- specific spatially and it's kind of done for you. you know it's a class dependent thing mm-hmm. as well. Mm-hmm. I think the idea of being able to see the terrain for casters and rogues is really, monks as well is really important. I think the people it's less important for are like barbarians and fighters. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because essentially, Whatever you're doing, you're going to be up in the middle. Unless you're yeah. playing a ranged fighter, you're going to be up in the middle hitting stuff. Yeah. And really, if it's 100 feet away or 20 feet away, kind of don't really matter. You're going to be hitting stuff. Now, at the be beginning, I rolled so well on damage. Yeah. Like I think I said second or third round. Like yeah. I didn't roll lower than a five on damage yeah. on a d6. 15 damage. Yeah. 
and <laughs> and I and they only have a plus two to any of their damage. So I rolled thirteen out of a possible eighteen yeah. on three across three. Yeah. Sorry, I you took fifteen damage. Did you get attacked twice? Oh no! I t- How um, did I do that across the fight? You took sorry. Yeah. No. Damage. Actually, I, I took eleven and. Okay. That meant I had 15 remaining. Yeah, so you took 11. I can, the most, to me, that's scary. Like, the, I yeah, could take one more round. round. I'm in a kind of grey area, and I'd be interested, because you've DM'd a lot at mm. Aoife. I'm treating Morgan like a DM PC. Yeah. And I didn't necessarily intend to until you all reacted the way he did when he went down, because <laughs> a normal NPC is just dead. Yeah. They're just yeah. dead at 0 mm. HP. Mm. And you were all so devo <gasps> that, and I, want, I knew I wanted the Divine Magic to fail, and Mass Healing Word is the perfect way for that to happen. That was great. Yeah. And that yeah. thing of all these motes of like, to me, that was that, yeah. that was like a visual that was really, really clear in my head. And I was like, well, in that case, I've got to give him death saves because otherwise yeah. the mass healing word doesn't do anything anyway okay. and they wouldn't cast yeah. it. So mm-hmm. he's, essentially, I am just now running a level two paladin mm-hmm. with one level of fighter. <laughs> um, kind of almost in perpetuity, yeah. I guess. Although he won't, I, I'm not interested long term in having a DMPC in the party. I don't no, no, fun. definitely yeah. not. What was the thing you cast on Dolly Bark? Oh, Bark, Bark Skin. Skin. Bark Skin. Yeah. Great spell, man. Yeah, it's it was a great yeah. spell. I was going to cast it on myself, and then I, and then Dolly was surrounded by these wolves, and I was just like, I yeah. think she needs a little help. Also, your, your Bark Skin only takes you up two. You have an AC of 14, so it takes your AC up by two. Yeah. And Dolly has 12, so it takes her AC up by four. Yeah. Like, yeah. Shield, yeah. which is a well, shield which, um, which uh, Radio oh, yeah. can cast, yeah. is a reaction. Your AC increases by five. But you only it only happens on that until the end of the start of your next turn. Yes. So it only lasts for like one round. Hmm. Whereas and that's a plus five that's a plus five, which is extremely powerful. You get a plus four in perpetuity. We don't have like an actual healer, healer, healer mm. in the yeah. party. Yeah. I really love that because the peril is is quite Mm. Like HP is important. Mm-hmm. Like these rolls yeah. are important yeah. because if we get hit, we're down. I was super worried because I hadn't cast mage armor, and I thought, oh no, if I get hit, like I'm, I'm d- I don't have a yeah, huge you're amount. Pretty, you're, you're, yeah, you're not so, like, for a spell cast. You're pretty good. Are you, I'm, pr- I'm are you pretty 15 good. Fifteen is your AC. Uh, it's a wizard. No. Fifteen. No, it's thirteen. Thirteen. I wrote it down wrong. <laughs> um, thirteen is my AC. Uh, but I I have shield and I hadn't cast mage armor. Yeah. I thought, oh no. I had one spell slot. It would have would have saved it just in case. Yeah. Because I think yeah, like it's the, the closest thing you have to a to a true healer is Kelnis actually. Kelnis really? is the most yeah. Kelnis is the most well. Mm, Druid's good. the most yeah. uh, a second most powerful healer is really after clerics. Mm. You can do a bit, but really you're much more of a utility caster. Yeah. Going forward, I'm excited to meet them again. Yes. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I feel like this yeah. isn't the last time that we're going to meet these characters we're in still this with setting, them, and there yeah. is so yeah. much. Yeah. Well, we paid for the minis. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to get our monies yeah, without these minis. No, I'm excited. I can't wait to see what is going on. I feel like the next session is going to be, yeah, we got to figure out what the heck yeah. is, has happened. Well, yeah, because I want to know why the five of us plus Morgan have been tasked with trying to look after the nine most powerful clerics yeah. in the world. Yeah, it's really. like a setup. Do you know what I mean? When you've got yeah. 200 HP and you've What's got that? you've got us wandering in with 24. <coughs> yeah. How, you know, how why are we here? Dead? How long have, how long have what we assume, we how know. long have they been dead? Like, and how this, many? We only know the ones. One, yeah. yeah. Like, and where have, have, have as one of them been killed and then the rest have retreated to a place of safety? Like, what's happened? Harry said at the beginning, which is... Um, the you know the city has been crumbling. Yeah, lot. that's true. Going, yeah. they, is it crumbling not because they've left, but crumbling because they've died? Yeah, because mm. I, I assumed mm. it was because they'd left, but was the the temple or whatever we were in was there signs of a fight of a struggle, or yeah, is it yeah, just yeah. like just like <sighs> like it's all decaying and yeah, and, and you have you'll you'll definitely have that chance. I mean, but that's where we're that's where we're starting, and and that's that. This was the thing where I had no idea where you were going to be. Mm. Like I just I didn't know whether. We were going to be into um, whether you were going to be here. This was my original stopping point. Mm. This was where I, mm. in the, in a perfect world, this was where we stopped. Which is why the the session is probably a little shorter mm-hmm. than some of the others. But I thought actually, for the sake of dragging, not dragging it out, it mm. it would just be better to. It it stops where it naturally stops. Yeah. Some yeah. sessions just will be longer and shorter than each yeah. other. It's so much all this. All this stuff with the gods and everything, and still I can't, like I still can't fight that thought in my head of going. 
what's that first conversation with Parvis going to be like? Oh, Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, and it's like, course. we've got dead God right there, and yeah. you can't shake Should the little character thing. So you're, you're like, the heroes. Yeah. Like, yeah. And that's the thing. There's a, there's a, and when I first play, when I play in my home campaign, there at the top, it says the players, and I have the little bios of the players, and I very consciously wrote the heroes for this mm. to remind myself and to kind of go into this with the perspective, like, it's your story. It has to be your story. And yeah. so, like, yeah, the fact that you're going, look, the God, look, God might be dead, but I want to investigate what your attitude means to our people mm. and that that's your priority. Quite right. Mm. You're, yeah. you're the heroes. Right. Well, mm. I think that's probably a decent place to finish. Yeah. yeah. Our first episode of Action Stage. Yeah. Thank you so much, everybody, for listening, for watching, for being here. Um, we will see you in Reliquiae again very soon. Oh, we didn't do a thing. We didn't do... Rolling Poly. Okay, so, so I'll explain as you guys are getting this all set up. So Rolling Poly is something that Ben really wanted everyone to do, <laughs> which is where you roll all your dice at once. Uh, when you say one all, set, one set. One set. Box we do it yeah. one <laughs> set. You roll one set, and uh, then we keep a tally of who won Roly Poly that week. And... Um, we should probably start okay, action surge with Rolly Poly, shouldn't we? Yeah, yeah next time. Okay, so or you can all roll them and then just add all the numbers up. Oh. And I'll vamp. Um, here's my vamp. So uh, an interesting thing for me in that, um, dear listeners, dear viewers, was uh, who they chose to talk to. Most of them didn't gravitate towards the cleric of their mm -hmm. own race, and I thought you might. I kind of had an idea of how all those different clerics would talk and an idea of how they'd behave and what their attitudes towards you would be. And the only one that tried to broach a conversation with their own deity, or at least observe their own deity, was I. So we don't really know anything about... There's still time. Right? There absolutely is still time. Mm. But it's, 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 you know, it's all those, like those myriad little things that you kind of try to prepare for. And then it never... And then it never... It never yeah. DM's up. curse. Yeah. So how have we done on the roly-poly? Do we have some totals? Yes. Okay, um, Ben, what did you... It's not radiant. It is very much Ben rolling a yeah, roly-poly. Yeah, Ben got a 79. Pretty decent. 79. 96. 96? Oh. Wait, I've done this wrong. But are, well, are how are you doing... the percentile dice? Yeah, how yeah. are you doing it? Because is it an yeah, 8 I mean, or this... is it we doing... Oh, okay. this one. The one that says yeah. 18, yeah. 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 I mean, that one ruins everything. That's kind of the point. That's how you get big yeah. numbers. Mm. Yeah. What did you get, Kelman? Uh, uh, well, I either got 23 or I got 73. I don't understand how you don't know which... Because I don't, so know, not, I don't know if we're counting the... Did you count well, I counted it. Did yeah. you count it? Yeah, yeah. yeah I did. Okay, yeah. so Ben just rolled badly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 73, <laughs> yeah. 96. What did you get? I got 79. Oh, 79. Oh, you didn't roll that badly. 87. Oof. 35. 35? How did you manage that? Did you roll a 10, ten. on your... Uh, yeah, I did. Uh, no, that's wait. Did you yeah. roll a zero? Did you roll a double zero? Oh, did you see that? That's well, okay. It, yeah, no, it was a... It was well, this, it's fine. <laughs> you can't roll a zero, It's fine, okay. because I think the joint roll is... A, well, so, so, yeah. so, on a percentile dice. So on a percentile dice, percentile dice are yeah. kind of tricky, but essentially if you roll a zero, zero on your percentile dice and then you roll one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine on your regular D10. It is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine. But if you roll double zero and then a 10 on your 10, it's 100. Mm -hmm. Such things, mm -hmm. such magic. So currently who's in the lead on the, uh, the Rolly Poly? Me. That's a win yeah. for Nellie. That's a win for Holly. It's very difficult to snap between. I enjoy. Yeah. I enjoy that maybe we will add them up as we go along. Yeah. Oh, God, good luck. I, also, I, I have no, to track a lot. To. People are tracking people that. People are, yeah. Someone will. Yeah. Someone yeah. will. I also Discord. So lots to explore, lots to discover, but that seems like a decent start. Um, I mean it this time. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Yeah. 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 I do yeah. apologise for the horrible RSC false exit that we did. <laughs> um, thank you for, for joining us. There will be more adventures in Reliquia, oh, yes. and uh, we will be coming to you very soon. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.